So what are you going to say to me? Well, I'd, do you say like action or are we just like going? Well, we'll say action, sure. Okay. Are we rolling? Okay. Action. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Made Up. I am your host, Danny Volk, and we are here with Richard Williamson. Thank you so much for having us, Richard. Thank you for coming. Now, what is your full name? I don't think I'm actually saying the entirety of your most magnificent name. Uh, it's Richard Gartley Williamson III. Richard Gartley Williamson III. Thank you so much for having us in your studio. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, of course. So, um, brief bio about Richard. He um, grew up in Unionville, Connecticut. Is that right? It's what I read on Facebook. Is that true? Yeah, uh, that is what Facebook says, but uh, it's actually Pennsylvania. But you were born in Florida, right? Yes. Okay. So, you're, you're used to tropical weather? No, I only lived there for a year. Oh, one of those kids. So, you moved to Pennsylvania. Then you went to uh, Rochester Institute of Technology, mm -hmm. Institute of Technology, and studied photojournalism. Uh, briefly, yeah. Okay. Moved to SVU, Law and Order, mm -hmm. where you studied um, crime scene investigation mm -hmm. and um, forensic evidence, using your photography skills. Yes. At actually, yes. <laughs> You're not going to correct me on that one. SVA, <laughs> School of Visual Arts in New York. And then you went to Royal College in London. Uh huh. Also briefly. Briefly, so commitment commitment issues we're we're figuring out. I'm sure some of those we'll we'll get into some of those. Yeah. All right. Cool. And now you're here at the University of Chicago, planning to stay all yeah. two years or whole time. Okay. Two years. And just photography. You've been doing that the whole time. That's a pretty good relationship. Sure. Yeah. Long term mm -hmm. LTR. So. Long-term relationship, acronym? yeah. Oh, okay. For people who date online. How long have you not? It almost sounded like uh, the Lord of the Rings thing. What's it, that? Like L-O-T-R, you know? Remember when I, it's oh, like 2004. Oh, right, 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 right. L-O-L, L-O-T-R. <laughs> They're so funny. Right, <clears throat> Danny Volk, are you ready to get made up? Sure. Great. We have a, a beginning toast. What is this? Uh, that's some whiskey that Jim gave me. Whiskey? that your fellow artists in the program gave you? Mm-hmm. Cool. All That's right. Really nice. Here's to uh, great faces. Didn't you? So do you ever use makeup in your work? Um, no, I wouldn't say I'm averse to it, though. Like, maybe I would, this isn't boring at all. Um, you know, if I'm doing, like, a, a portrait, perhaps, maybe I'll, I'll whip it out. But not, like, as a, as a rule. Right. And you, you put it on your subject? Oh, I could. I'd think about it, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd make sure that I got it all done, you know? Do you often photograph nice. people? Uh, no, very rarely. Uh, I like objects a bit more. People are really fussy. So you're shooting objects now, and how do you decide on those objects? Uh, it's a combination of chance, and then occasionally some planning goes into it. So these objects that you're shooting, are they just things that come into your life? Like they definitely come into my life. So you don't go out, you don't seek these objects out. They somehow are in the flow of your living. Yeah. Um, they well, like I have coconuts here, and that's just because we have, you know, I was we uh, collect a lot of stuff when we travel, and so coconuts and glasses and bottles and and stuff, and then through just working different relationships pop out and then you start to kind of start vibing on those for a little bit and, mm -hmm. and churn them out. You're kind of like a tiger a little bit right now, mm. which is not the desired effect. I feel like your foundation was a little dark, Danny. <laughs> well, you should have used these lighter ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wanted to like, you know, it's like a, I don't know how to paint, but I imagine it would be like a painting where like, I'm going to like dip in some highlights later. Oh, right. This would do some lighting effects, I think. <laughs> so can you talk a little bit about your studio? What do you do in, what do you do in this room? Uh, in this room, I, I do a lot of still life photography, a lot of, and then a lot of like small fabrication, but mostly photographing. And um, yeah, so like I'll, I have these two movable walls, and I'll um, <coughs> set those up in different. This is fun. Uh, different like combinations to get certain angles and corners, and so it kind of resembles in some way 
like a really bootleg version of a production studio where mm. it's the space as it is isn't really used but it's it can facilitate a lot of different things would you prefer to be working in a production studio well I like the bootleg but I would like to be in a production space as well like to have the you know capacity to do a lot of different things but still mm -hmm. kind of do them a little shitty so how's Dova working out for you well, it's really good for the bootleg stuff regarding photography, just because there's not like, there's a lot of great video production. And you're finding interesting faculty to work with, and you're oh, better yeah. helping with the work that you're trying to do? Absolutely. Because, um, you know, they're kind of across the board. It's like you get uh, folks who really um, kind of zone in on the materiality of a thing and others on a more performative aspect. And everyone's kind of like, they bounce off each other in a really nice way. Um, yeah, that's what that needed. <laughs> hmm? That's what that needed. Can you talk a little bit about, um, could you, all right. T-t-t-t-t-t-terminal? T-t-t-t-terminal? Yeah. Uh, t the terminal started in 2004 with my friend Brian Cross. Um, and I actually, I left, and when I, I left in 2006. And since then, it's kind of taken off into this nice, just like online platform to feature individuals. It probably needed me to leave for it to actually like be anything worthwhile. Um, but yeah, they'll be giving me a nice little feature for March. So that'll be cool. Oh, and I missed your mouth right there because you're it's, talking again. It's online. Yes, the, on the internet. There'll be a feature on you online, on the terminal website. Mm -hmm. Which is t -t 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 terminal biz. We'll we'll put a link under this video. Is it common practice to put makeup on ears? Um. Yes. Good. Mm. That looks good. Just not in the ear. No, not in the ear. That's ridiculous. This is tasteful. Remember that time when you came to my house and shushed me inadvertently? <laughs> that, was, that was nice. You were there for like four seconds. I was at a party Shh. at your house, Shh. and your partner told us that you are quite familiar with makeup. That one time she found you, you look going great. through her old makeup and putting it all over your face. Uh, yeah, that happened. Um, she was throwing out makeup, and I thought that was stupid, because why not I just use it? And so I did my face up real pretty. So I'm sure this is going to be a masterpiece. Can't wait to see it. It is very handsome. It's more like draggy handsome. Got it. Yeah. We want to thank Richard for having us in his studio. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Danny. And thanks for this wonderful uh, makeup job. You look really good. It, well. Looks like you, right? Close. You, you tried to make me look like you. I did try to make you look, yeah. With a little more. A little more color. A little more flair. Yeah, I think it looks great. Yeah. I think, um, there's a party tonight. Do you think I should wear it? Obviously. Okay. Obviously you should go to the party like this. All right. <coughs> this has been Made Up with Danny Volk, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>